fellow gamers, I'm Glory Hound, and this is the seductive Dr. Glory Hog today. That's all it took was some card splaying. <laughs> I mean, like, if you have the card splay, you have, you're immediately extra seductive. That's, that ups your seductiveness, because they can only see your eyes. Every Magic the Gathering player ever. Just. So hot. <laughs> so hot. It's good. I'll let the community know. I'll let the community know. That's how you do it. Yeah, the Magic the Gathering player is like, that's how you do it, okay? So, today we are playing Vampire the Masquerade Rivals. This is a card game. It's not a collectible card game. Trading card game. Trading card game. Is that what they're calling it? Or I thought they had like another term for it. It's not it. a living card game. It is... It's a card game. <laughs> expandable card game. There we go, expandable. Wow, it like was another different. term? Expandable, So, huh? okay. Because the... they're going to add clans and stuff to it, yes, right? Yes, they're going to add clans to it. So, it's not... Like a TCG, or it, it well, is I mean, different. All those ones get cards added to them, too, technically. Yeah, Just but saying. it is different because I believe it's more like a little bit more static. Well, like living, that's like a more of a living card game where you can actually, like, you know what you're going to get when you buy packs. Trading card games yeah. typically, you can get blind booster packs where you don't know what's in them and you open them and I you want, add like, them to a clear definition and, like, I of look every it up. single one is what I want. Just, TCG. just so I can CCG. go through. Yeah, just so I can go through. And hello to our chat today. It looks like we have Battle Cry in chat. We have Nosferatu. We have Nathan. How are all of you doing? I see you're not living, but kind of by decks of new clans. Right. So it expands yeah, yeah, see, for the decks. It. So it's like Marvel, what's Marvel Champions called? Because Marvel Champions is the exact same way. I was going to say, I think it's more like Marvel Champions in that way, that it's ex an expandable universe. But like but Arkham like, Horror and like Game of Thrones, those are all considered living card games. And Deadwood was considered a living card game because you knew what you're getting when you bought those packs. Like they're set deck lists. But those are that's, like more that's what makes them living story card driven, games. though. Are right? you saying there's no story behind this? <laughs> there's political intrigue. There's some flavor text. <laughs> I'll let you get all up in my flavor text. Do we build your deck while you play before you play? So you can do either. You can play with there's pre made decks, and then you have. Yeah, you have cards yeah, that you can go ahead and build decks there's with. There's four clan decks that are in here, and then there's yeah. another pack of cards that they say, wait, right. don't open until you've played it a few times. You can mix it and make your own. And then they're also going to expand upon that yeah, and make more stuff. And, and stuff, right? as well as, I'm going to switch over to the table so you all can see, there's this city deck here, and I feel like they're also going to end up making city decks as like well. Because places. this is Sam, yeah, this is San Francisco, and you have the a San certain Francisco amount of stuff tree. in this, but I feel like this is also going to be a thing with it as well. I actually fixed my Aww. hair just for you, Nathan. Aww. Hey, everyone who's here, thank you for being here. It's been a busy streaming day. I know. Well, it's been a busy week in general. It's just been... Yeah. Ooh. We've been shooting previews. Ooh. I did streaming for my work. <laughs> Definitely all freaked out. But we've got our tiny goblets, as per requested by Lord Nosferatu. Tiny goblets. You want the goblets? I don't have a cape. Clink. It was poisoned. I switched our goblets. No! <laughs> these goblets do not come with the game. These come with, these are actually Kaman's uh, Raise Your Goblets. It's Those like are a, fun ones. <laughs> uh, it's a little uh, Princess Bride style game. Does this game. game suck? Sometimes. <laughs> it who does? If you, play, if you play the right vampires, right? Okay. It does. All right, so just as a reminder, this is the Should You Play. If you want a How to Play, the Game Boy Geek did an excellent How to Play video. It's about 30 minutes long. If you want to know how to play the game, this is not that. We're going to do our best to give you a really good idea if this is a game that you want to add to your collection. That is the purpose of this video that is sponsored by Game Trays and Game Toppers. So I picked up five cards to start with because I'm going to be starting my turn. You picked up six cards. We have agenda tokens here. We have prestige tokens. The prestige tokens, just as a note, these ones are the ones that we start with. We start with 20 of them and then we allocate them throughout the game. And it's hard to get prestige. Like, there's some of them yeah. up here, but this is, like, more to make, like... Change. Change and stuff with. This... Once this is depleted, this is a signifier that the game is over. As yeah. well as if all of your vampires, like, are in Topor and stuff like that. Right there back. are several different ways to win and lose this game. That's very true. All right. So, the first thing that I'm going to do here... And you've got to use that prestige to summon more vampires. So it makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those push and pulls where you're like, I want to have these powerful vampires to join my clan, but then I lose prestige. So you got to kind of balance right. all of that the out. The prestige portion is genius as far as, like, but I went this for, game. I went for the only vampire that looks just like me. <laughs> I mean, me and him, like, I mean, What's dead on. What's the objective? 
to, to win. be amazing. <laughs> to rule the streets of San Francisco. So I'm going to play down. Oh, the X trays and game copper links in the description are broken. I'll take a look at them. Oh, okay. That is Apologies. Weird. Yeah, we'll have to check, check it out. So the I'm playing Lolita, and so I'm actually going to take from my prestige from here and yeah, she put it as a blood point. She either needs to knock my whole clan out or mm -hmm. make me lose all my prestige. So basically, I become like the scumbags of San Francisco, and, and they don't know, want me there anymore. If all of you don't know, I know that some of us, some of our viewers in chat already know a lot about Vampire the Masquerade. The whole point of Vampire the Masquerade is that you are a vampire, and there are many other vampires, but there are vampire clans. And so you kind of get together with your clan and you plot and scheme against other vampires because you want your clan to be on top. You want to be the most powerful vampires in the city. So with this game, we're going to be attacking people here and there and each other maybe, but it's not like just a direct confrontation all the time. And that kind of rings true with this game Let's as well. Bruja. <laughs> so my first action, I'm going to put out this vampire right here. And I'm going to make them my little children. And, ooh, what do we have out already? We already have the Special, Special Affairs. Affairs Division. Mm -hmm. They are anti-vamp. And not good. they will be shooting at our faces. I am not a fan of being shot in the face, personally. Mm, it's not so bad. Let's see here. We each have our own unique things. Like, I have kind of a different agenda and a different haven. And there's all kinds of cool stuff. But if, there, if we use any terminology you don't understand... Please definitely let us know because unfortunately we have played this game where well, we played Vampire the Masquerade so many times in so many different variations that a lot of these words are second nature. I mean, this is like the third Vampire the Masquerade game we're going to get this year. We've already played two of them. So. Very true. Very true. Chapters is the only one we're missing out on. Oh, this is like super unfortunate. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything really great here. I'm showing all of you my cards here because I have a couple of attack cards here that I can add. But they're only going to give me one, and as far as my characters here, I only have one. So I have a four and a three up here, and neither of those are going to be helpful for me. This is not good for me so far. So first action, I did that. Second action, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a conspiracy. I play this face down, and I'm going to put a prestige token on it. And then there's some text on this card, and I'm going to show all of you right here. Once the text on this card is enacted, then I can enact this card. So basically, once I do what's on the card, then I can flip it over and go, ha ha, and then put that into effect. So I'm going to do that and play this. And in order to play this, I do have to use one of my little vamps here. So we're going to do that. Let me just double check on the re OK, yeah, I'm going to keep that on there. And then I'm going to, oh, I don't want to do that yet. And draw one card when I play a card face down outside of an attack. So I'm going to draw a card. And yeah, then. This actually works really well with multiple people, which is really nice. Oh, it works it's, super hey, well. You focus on oh, I'm, your sorry, turn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm ending my turn. I'm going to draw my two cards at the end of my it's turn. It's nice that it actually gives you a specific rival. And that person might not be your rival. They might have to attack the person to your left or something like that. So there's some cool stuff there. And especially, like, for example, the Bruja, this agenda I have gives me bonus points if I attack people that aren't my rival, plus I get the normal points for attacking people that are my rival. So there's some really cool things there. You are done with your turn? I am, and so now I have to enact... Take one aggravated yes, to one of your people. which is not cool. Do it. Like, I don't want to. Get aggravated. What's going on, Jim? All right, I'll take one of these. I'm going to find out Oops, the name of that cat, there. Jim, that you asked about earlier. Tim Bowers' cat. Oh, yeah, Tim's cat. He I'm was have, so cute, I'm and he was, like, him. petting him, and he was like, oh, and that was, he was like, meow, meow, meow. It was unplanned. Like, Noah, I knew so Noah cute. had his dog in his lap, but I did not know that Tim's cat was going to jump up, or my cat, for that matter. So I need to flip one of these out for my turn, correct? Yes. Like, right away? Ooh, make sure it's not, like, a bad thing. Which we should have started with two out. I did start with two out. And then on my a diff turn, I, we should have had another one out. Event ongoing. Cards cannot be played. Oh, the ranged cards can't be played because it's all foggy. All right, so for my turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my haven, which is where you're safe. I'm going to go out into the streets. I'm going to exhaust my vampire. You would go out into the streets. I'm going to do a melee attack here against the Special Affairs Division. Good old sad. And I'm going to bring my good old baseball bat. So it's going to add an additional one here. So it's going to give me a three melee. And then it's also a plus one damage to a city deck mortals. Splatter up. <laughs> so that will defeat these bad boys right here. 
So that's going to gain me one of these, which you can also win by getting agenda. 13 of these agenda yeah. things. So let's see here. With more players, you get a bonus objective, secretly killing your rival clan without them knowing. So if you kill your rival clan... You win. That's an end game trigger effect, right? Well, you get prestige off of killing your rival clan, and what is it? I've only played it two player, so <laughs> I haven't had a chance to play it with three or four people yet. So this one says, when defeated, gain one of the agenda tokens you said, right? Yeah. Deal one aggravated to a character in your coterie not protected by secrecy. Oh, at the end of your turn. At the end of your turn. So that's fine. They're just gone. Oh, just, They've been burned. Just defeat this. Okay. So that was one action. He's out here in the streets causing trouble. And what else do I want to do? The art in this, like, card game is fantastic. Like, so good. I'm going to play this unhosted action, so I don't have to actually exhaust the vampire for it. And it is the spoil. So, ongoing. Whenever an attacker in your coterie defeats another character, each character in the attacker's party mends one. Oh, that's nice. It is nice. That You're is welcome. really Thank nice. You. Okay. Thank you. All right, so that's the end of my turn. I'm going to draw two. I think I'm going to try to pick up another vamp. Ooh. These two decks are different. This is going to be your abilities, and here's the other vampires that you can bring into your hand here. This guy's like, come let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn over a card. Yeah, go for it. I'm done with my turn. Ah, I just, we just <laughs> got rid of those people. Come on. So she's got to deal with sad. She's come so on. sad right now. <laughs> she's so sad. As a note, too, I feel like the decks do have... Like, the easier decks to play are going to be, like, the Bruja and the Toreador. Oh, whereas, like, the Ventor, the Venture, and then the Malkavian decks are going to be a little bit more complicated to play because they deal more with, like, secret things and conspiracies and stuff like that. So you're having to manage the way you work your cards. It's not a direct, hey, I'm going to run out here, hit people, and then get Hey, guys, my look agenda. at me. I'm Malkavian. <laughs> Whatever. What was that supposed to mean? You're a freak. Get going. What's that supposed to mean? Stop making excuses. I'm not making excuses. You're like, guys, if I lose, basically, it's because McCallum is super hard. <laughs> Listen, th there there are a lot of games where I will take the easy route. I say Bruja are one of those clans that are just kind of one of those underutilized clans because they are thought of as the easy clan or, oh, there's the tough guy clans, but they've got presence, which is amazing. When you have dread presence and you can make somebody go like insane by just giving them a look. That's awesome. When you could pick up a car and throw it across the room at somebody, that's awesome. And when you can have celerity and be like across the room and grab somebody before they even see you blink, boom, awesome. They have awesome powers. Deal with it. And besides, they like they have motorcycles and stuff. So that's <laughs> cool. It's like one of the things you got to get a motorcycle. You got to ride down the highway. Looking All right, for let's see here. So what's the best? Vampire the Masquerade clan. Just period. I know it's going to be different for everybody. I, I say Bruja is always the one I always lean towards. But I also do have some love for Nosk and for the Gangrel clans. I think those are interesting. I like the vampires that have that traditional strength element to them, if you will. All right, I put into an enacted another conspiracy. Nosferatu's out until the Nosferatu decks are released. Oh, right? I know. Nosferatu are cool. The only problem with Nosferatu, which can be really cool or really not, is that they're always like so hideously deformed. That's one of the bad sides. One of the unique things about Vampire the Masquerade role-playing system in general is that with every good thing, there's always like a really bad thing. So I always like the fact that if you get this merit, like, oh, you're a really huge guy. You're like seven foot and 450 pounds. You're this massive, like specimen of humanity that just shouldn't exist but then the downside is like you usually got to have something to balance out the downside is like you, i don't know you can't uh you're afraid of the you're afraid of crosses and the clergy or something so basically what happened here is lolita, lolita came out into the street and she tripped and fell and your character was actually nearby her and she's trying to seduce you right now so I have a card which I am using to help me seduce you because she's like, oh no, I fell. Why don't you help pick me up? <laughs> and right now my seduction is at a one and your seduction is at a one. Come, let me seduce you, doctor. What's this? 
for action. All right, I'm flipping my card over. Yeah. <laughs> Faulty logic. <gasps> Faulty logic. So I now have a seduction of two, one here and one here. My foe contributes one prestige to a face down card of my choosing. If you resolve, if you resolve that card this turn, you may target that foe. So I would like one of those right here, please. Oh, I'm pretty sure I don't want that there. And then, uh, y since I'm hitting you for two, you have one seduction. Yes, so one gets taken off. All right, and let's see here. I get a card for this. Not the best, everyone. This goes over here. Yeah, I don't know when the gang girls are going to come out. I always like to. Uh, and then the it gang is your turn. Because gang girls were. Gang girls are like the poor man's oh, werewolf, basically. They're like, oh, we like to be outside the city, and we've got claws and glowing eyes. I'm like, are you sure you're not a werewolf? They're like, no, <laughs> no, man. We're, no, we're not werewolves. But we party on the weekends at the bonfire. I'm going to have to take damage. Yeah, you didn't think that through, did you? Look, at, there's only so much I can do. All right, doctor, go you ahead. You sure had time to come out. I already out flipped out one of your start cards. Start some shenanigans. All right, so he's going to come back. What do you mean, back. start some shenanigans? You literally attacked me, and that hurt my feelings. Let's see here. That's what was cool with the story. The masquerade was the... Oh, yeah. Talking about the social push. So good. Hello, Crabok. How are you doing? Hi. What do you think of this game so far? I really like the game. I can't wait to play with more people because I've only played with Doctor and online with some other people, but it's always been like a one-to-one. -one. And I feel like this is going to be so much fun with that three-to-four player mark like so fun Hi. when's the werewolves oh that would be amazing <laughs> you just the problem is, is whenever you try to mix werewolves and vampire the masquerade in the same game unless you're playing like with mortals or the changelings or something like that we had one game where that somebody was secretly like a werewolf or no they were they were secretly like a super high level vampire and they were just a jerk the whole time they weren't supposed to be they're supposed to be cool about it. Oh, they were yeah, not cool and they were about not it. cool about it. Yeah. The storyteller's like, "Yeah, this will be cool," and it was not cool. Yeah, <laughs> but that's all right. They left. They were banished from the group. Banished. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back out to the streets, out right here with Hydra and Brother. Right. So I just activate. I just uh, summoned up Brother, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna exhaust, and I'm gonna go after Sad again, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm already at a two. I'm going to exhaust brother, so this, this attack deals plus one to the target, so that puts me at three. And then I'm also going to discard one card, and my leader will deal plus one to the target. I'm going to discard skunk here. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to discard skunk. It's competitive, Krabok. It... The deck, the type of deck that you play is really... That does four, by the way. So I'm going to do four. Okay. Discard that. I'm going to get another one of these bad Agenda. boys. I'm just going to take the five. Is that cool? No, that's not good. <laughs> okay, well. The type of deck you play is really going to determine how you end up playing in the game, and I really like that portion of it because that's... I hate getting into a game and all of the cards are pretty much the same overall for everybody, you know? So since I went out there okay. and I attacked, I will go ahead and get to mend one. So I'm going to get one from the general blood supply and okay. mend up Hydra, so I'm back up at six, even though you tried to seduce Varnas. me. Varnas. It was... I tripped... Doctor, okay? And you were very nice to help me out. I'm looking for that special that special vampire to spend the rest <laughs> of my time with. I see. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Is it my turn? Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is very interesting. Okay, I'm bringing out another card. I want to, like... Get some agenda stuff going on. I'd really like to get some agendas, but it's not necessarily like my character's forte. Yeah, four clans come in the initial base box. So it's Torador, Bruja, Malkavian, and Venture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would, I'm going to be, it'll be interesting to see when they bring in like the Sabbat and they play some of the evil clans and then maybe some of the ancillary clans on the outside, like the, what was it, the, I used to call them. I forget what they're called. I used to have a character sheet because I was convinced that my character was going to die. That was based off of an ancient line that did mu uh, did aggravated damage with music. Talk about the ultimate bards. Ooh. He was essentially an 80s lounge singer. He would only sing 80s songs, like rock songs, and he would do aggravated damage. He w I called him a son of discord. And he, you know, he had like Elvis hair. 
She drove in a pink caddy. It was good stuff. You gonna take your turn? Yeah, I'm looking at what you have over here. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. I don't the mean Tiffany to like with their flesh sculpting should be very interesting. I don't mean to like attack you all the time, but I just have like some good cards in my hand, Doctor. Spend them up. Get it going, girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I know she definitely I have played it less than her. This is only like my second time playing it. She's definitely played it more because she signed up initially because she wanted to be part of the competitive online organized play. So I know she really, really likes it. I'm still figuring it out, honestly. But I like it so far. Oh, there's just like too many good things to Toro, do. Bruja, Venture, and Malkavian. Nathan, Malkavian. Which is what she's playing. The crazies. Straight jacket wearing weirdos. I'm going to put them out, too. Not beardos, but weirdos. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to... Gosh, I have, like, so many good things I want to do. I'm going to go out into the streets. I'm going to convince this vagrant, this student, this tour guide, and this skateboarder to attack you. Mortals unite! The vampires are loose amongst us! Da, da, da. Oh, I could attack them over there. And that prevents stuff from a character. That's nice. Okay. Oh, gosh. Doctor... The four decks are pre-built, Krabok, but there is an extra pack of like 60-something cards that you can mix in and make your own decks after you've played it for a little bit. But right. initially, yeah, it's probably just grab one of the four pre-built decks. So I put out a character, and then I'm going to go attack, and I think I'm going to attack that Vagrant. Oh, wow. And He's just a homeless man. I, you know what? I need to like get some stuff here, okay? So I'm going to attack the Vagrant. We're going to scry the soul Gross. whenever I do it. So I have two of the mental attack here. You're just going to get all up in that homeless guy's brain? It's not good. You get what you deserve. It's not good. We did back but... Vampire the Masquerade chapters. So we're going to get all three of the big Vampire the Masquerade games this year. He now becomes my retainer. So he's going to like chill out here. Because I believe that delivers this year. Oh, I hope so. I'm going to, I have to go look. Cause like, I am so excited about it. So some of these mortals, you can make them retainer so that they hang out with you. And they can be used for things like human shield, blood banks. I don't know. All right, it is Golf your caddies. turn, Doctor. Do you flip out a card for me, or are you just rude? There you go. Another vagrant. How sweet of you. And there is no hand limit limit to cards in your hand, so that part is kind of nice, but it does take a little bit to get them in your hand, you know? I'm just happy those sad people aren't out anymore. Like, that was not good. Need to peek at my cards. <laughs> okay, so I could potentially do we that We have Heritage, one. the Legacy game, but we sold Rivals. Ooh, we liked Heritage, too. Heritage was so good. It was... We're like halfway through it, I think. Yeah, it was to... really interesting how the different boards come out and your game starts to change. And I loved the legacy aspect of it, adding everything to it. Like, I had so much fun playing Heritage. It was, gosh, it was just so good for it being like so simple to play. <laughs> and plus seeing all of the card art and stuff like that kind of like, I love how it was muted on one side and then whenever it became a vampire, like everything became so much more disturbing like the companies who are putting vampire the masquerade ip into the world with different games and stuff are doing an excellent excellent job with like ringing true to just that feel of the rpg out there like creating the same sort of creepy art like it could be somebody random sitting next to you you know it's not like i don't know i think vampires in general get super extra romanticized and like my Malkavian vampire here is just some old dude that like you might just pass by on the street. He looks like, you know, he's probably not in the right era, <laughs> but that's the whole point, you know? All right. I'm coming out into the streets. Okay. With my party. In the streets. And I'm going to go ahead streets, and attack what? Velvet it, it, it. with a melee attack. What? Why would you do that? 
Doctor. You attacked me first. Listen, I tried to seduce you. I didn't attack you. She attacked me, everyone. You literally did. You tripped rude. on me and did damage rude. to me? How hard did you trip on to rude. me? Rude. Rude. <laughs> yeah, the heritage art is amazing. I really want to somehow get that guy or lady to do art like that. All right, for I have us. nothing that I'm gonna be able to put down. All right, so Hydra is going to go and play the scoped thirty out six, and nothing special about this. this. Is if I played it face up, it would get plus one intel, but you're okay. out, so it didn't matter. So two, three, Ouch. four. That just takes me out. That was the idea. Because it was the melee, right? Yeah. Now, you can potentially block two, right? Oh, no, that's mend two. Or you can exhaust to prevent one damage. Well, I can't burn the card to mend because that's only whenever it's up here. But you can you can tap it. You can exhaust it to stop one. So that's why I brought him two. So that's going to do five. Wait, why does he do five? Because if he in his one party, he adds yep. one. If I exhaust him okay. also. So is the damage aggravated at all? It's not aggravated. Okay, so then they're going to go into Topor. So these... But it's ranged, so you can't block with your guard person, right? I can, because they do have guard. But they only have two, so... Now either way, one of them's getting knocked out. Mm, that might be a good idea, actually. Why did I mention it? Well, actually, actually... I do still have another turn, so that's why... Let's do that, yeah. So these two are going to go up here. This person is going to go into Lolita. Topor. And then I have to take one of these over here out, though, to go into a Topor here. Let me do an exchange. So essentially what happens when she goes into Topor, she ends up spending one of her, whenever she starts to regain health, basically, she spends one of her prestige blood points in order to, to get back on the board eventually. So, and they're out for a while. So she's losing her overall prestige. How much prestige do you have in here? I don't have much okay. left. How I'm much? Like three, four, five. You got five. That's I have five left. Bad. All right, so I spent that card. I did the attack here. So I've got one more action. Uh, I can mend, too. I'm already oh, full. Oh, I was so upset when Elon Musk wasn't in Heritage. I didn't realize that he was going to get in Heritage. That's hilarious, though. Let's see here. Heritage chapters, Vendetta, Blood Feud, and Rivals. Is that all of them? Let's see here. I think so. Probably. I Unless there's so. older ones. There might be older, older ones. Yeah, those are the newest ones. I feel like it's almost like the IP hit the market and then like a bunch of companies picked it up all at once. The games have been good though overall. So at least I'm pleased by that. Nothing is worse than having a game where you start playing it and you're like, man, like this does nothing for me. And you remember all that nostalgia from playing like the RPG and stuff and the world building and everything and then like, it's like, this is just a blanket that went over this. And I feel like every game that I've played personally has not been a blanket. Like, they really, really tried to involve the theme into the actual mechanics and aspects of the game. And which I really, really appreciate. Isn't there a way for me to draw a card as one of my actions? Yes. And I just draw a card? And you just draw a card. I'm going to do that for my second action. And then I'm going to end my turn. Okay. I'm going to bring them back to my place. And let's see here. What do we got here? Okay, ongoing events. So every character not in their haven is a separate party. Okay. These two are a separate party? That's what it says. Hmm. You're in the street. I'm not super happy about all that business over there. My eight cards. If you're going to do something, let me know. I'm going to have to read all my cards. It's <laughs> a lot of cards. Oh, I defeated not many people in Topor. Don't I gain You a... get an agenda for that. Yeah, absolutely. Don't let me forget that. Well, that's Pardon. an important thing to do, Doctor. Yeah, I only need ten more They're of those. very important. If you were bigger, I would gain even another one, but you're not. You're weak sauce and little tiny little vamp. I'm going to exhaust my leader here. We're going to... That makes sense. Nas says that Elon Musk would have been Nosferatu if he's a social outcast, genius, making his own tech rules. You know, I was looking at a thing. I'm trying to think of what I was watching, but they were talking about it, and they're like, is Elon Musk really a genius, or has he just invested in, like, the right things, and he's really good at taking credit for things? Just saying, look into it. 
When you ask Elon Musk, are you doing these things to save the world? He's like, nah, I'm going to Mars by myself. He's very clear. If Elon Musk can make a way to go to Mars, he's going by himself. He is not <laughs> inviting the rest of humanity with him. That's fair. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Now caving gets Trump because of his madness. That's fair. We get Honey Boo Boo. Well, oh, all right. Well, Honey Boo Boo can fight at least. Anybody? Well, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that alone. I think she could fight. Who? Honey Boo Boo? Oh, nice. So Ben said he just ordered this and got the token upgrade. Yeah, I feel like I should have got the token upgrade. Because what was it? They were plastic tokens, right? Instead. The token upgrades for this? Oh yeah, the upgrade for this was like super hot. It was so good. But it was like, it was pretty pricey to go. She wanted to go like all in on it. And I was like, I don't want to spend like a hundred something dollars before we play the game. I'm trying to save money, okay? Do you know how many other games I have that I have to spend? Yeah, it's about thirty five dollars ish. That's fair. Uh, I don't want to do See, any of these knows. things. He's an investor, totally, but smart enough to know what to buy. He didn't start Tesla, but he, meant, he invested in it and then fired the two creators. There you go. That's how you get it done. That works. Ooh, Jim's playing Destiny's right now. That game is hot. What I game? want a copy of Destiny's really bad, but we did oh, not yeah. back that one. Yeah. Have you talked to anybody about getting us a copy? We don't have a lot of pull, but we do like to beg. So, you know, sometimes <laughs> it works out. And you go... Please, 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 Mr. Lucky please, Duck. Please, sir. Please, Mr. Can Vince. I have a game? Did you say parlez-vous français? He please, says, sir. oh, I'll send you a game because you speak a French. <laughs> That's how it works. Um, man. Yeah, Battlecry says Destiny's is so good, too. Yeah, I can't remember why. I think either we just missed it or we just didn't have the cash on hand. I always like to go back and see what else was going on at that time. And sometimes it's like, oh, I backed... Tainted Grail, or oh, I backed Frosthaven like right before that, so I just couldn't do both. I want to like murderize somebody, but I can't with the cards in my hand. Yeah, she wanted to go all in, but the pr it got pretty expensive. So Ben said he was going to go all in, but the playmats didn't feel like the playmats were worth it. Hmm. I don't know if I can go on the street and do this. Crabback's got a good idea. I wish they would do reverse Kickstarters where you play the game first, and then you can decide what add-ons you want to add after. So that's what happens with Dwellings of Elder Vale. I got the game first, and then I started begging people to get the other parts for it that were impossible to find. And I got some of the parts for it. So it's not a complete set, but it's almost mm. a legendary set. All right. I um... have the most unique game of Dwellings of Elder Vale because I have the upgraded wood tokens, treasure tokens. I've got the meeple source wooden resources that I bought. And then I have the legendary monsters, but not the regular monster figures. All right. So it's it very, is your very turn. unique. It is your turn, Doctor. Like, I wanted to do something, but I just didn't have the stuff to carry it out. Like, I'm so close to doing... I'm so close to doing things. I'm not fighting things in the middle, apparently. The Macavians definitely take a little bit longer to play. Who's this guy? Did you put him out? Is that your leader? That's my leader. Holy... Do you have three out right now? No, I have two out, and well, one's in poor poor. They're going to come back, though. <laughs> I have two out and one's a little thick. Why? What's up? What are you doing? What are no, you doing? Nothing. I was just what curious. Is this one over now or is it still going? It's still going because uh, it has my thing on there. Although you have to flip out a new one of these. Loops. I should probably just like fight these people. You probably you... should because there's quite a bit of agenda up there and that is your job is to like just murderize people in the face real easily. Like, like easily. That's my job? It is. That's what you do. You're a bruja. Okay. You just run over there and you smack some people around. First off, and then you look good doing it because first like off, rude. Okay. <laughs> you have what presence, right? Mm, that's true. <laughs> yep, just art not functional. Uh, is you already have a game mat or a game table. Let's see here. Do the Greg pledge. Oh my gosh. That would be hilarious. What's your favorite vampire movie? What they do in the shadows. <laughs> Probably. What is this? What would you gain from that? It's my favorite. Okay. So you draw one card and then gain that eyeball. What is the eyeball symbol? So this, you're making a retainer underneath you. So, oh, so you're gaining, you're that, gaining symbol that symbol. symbol. Yeah. Symbols. Ah. yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I don't know if that's relevant to my clan really or not. 
Uh, there's like so many out here. I'm what like, they do in the shadows here where I can was, see them. It was just so much fun. So much fun. And I remember as a kid, I, what was it? I watched, uh, I think it was the show was called Kindred the Embraced. And I remember at the time it I was. was so excited to watch that dang show because I was like, oh my gosh, it's like the RPG and stuff. And I was so excited about it. And then being an adult and going back and watching it, because I specifically got the VHS tapes for it. And I was like, ooh, I was like, doctor, you've got to watch this. It's just like Vampire the Masquerade. It's so good. And then I, wa I watched it and I was like, hmm. It's a bit like watching The Highlander <laughs> whenever you okay. go back and you watch it. What? And you're like, hmm. We don't talk about The Highlander, okay? <laughs> we don't talk about The Highlander. <gasps> Blade, I love how cheesy Blade was, says Nosferatu. Blade was good. Blade was so much fun. <laughs> Gary Oldman's Dracula was amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so Near I'm... Dark. Oh, is that that spooky horror one? Is that that vampire one? Where they're like in Alaska and it's like you get your 24 hours of night or something was no, that, that that was one? 30 days or something like that right no because it would days. be not 30 it was like it was 30 days and 30 nights was it that was the that, yeah, one was, that actually, was freaky i remember that one being pretty good yeah that was actually the question we were going to ask at the end like i want because we were talking about werewolf movies earlier in discord also and it's like if you could only name like one really good werewolf movie or vampire movie that we should watch like oh, what would yeah. it be because i haven't found that amazing werewolf movie i mean besides teen wolf i mean come on that's <laughs> Classic. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do it is I recruited Sweetums, my bruja over here. She's hanging out. She can guard and stuff. And then Hydra's going to go out and fight this tour guide. And so I'm going to defeat it, gain one agenda, and then I'm going to attach it to gain one seduction. So then Hydra will be oh, so extra. Oh, so you're seductive. extra seductive. So now you're the one do... falling down and like no, getting No, so help. here's the deal. Here's oh. how Hydra becomes more seductive. He just undoes one button. <laughs> And the level of seduction just goes I up significantly. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> significantly. Okay? You'll, you will feel it if you get too close to it. It's like a... Oh, my goodness. It's like it's moist when you come around him. It's like, oh, he brings his own humidity. Is it my turn? Do you know what he doesn't bring, though, is these new red X-trays. Oh, oh my everyone. God. Look at Did these. you see the new red X-trays? These red X-trays. They, they wouldn't work On our for red this table? game with our red mat. <laughs> we have other mats, though. But they're deep red. Check them out. They're, they're very pretty. They're so red. And actually, I just got these in today while I was doing the stream. So it was pretty cool to, to get these new red ones in. We just got a card that says shuffle all the events in the burn pile back into the city deck. Oh. Okay. But then this goes away after that. Yeah. Just tossing them up there. October 2019 for Destinies. Ooh, 30 Days of Night. Yeah, so 30 Days of Night. I remember that one being pretty good. I'd have to see that one. Near Dark has Bill Paxton. Okay, okay. Hmm. I might have missed that I one. I think so, yeah. Howling. I'll have to check out Howling. Was that another Dracula super, Dead super... Dracula Dead and it? That's, that's oh, good yeah, one. that's right. The original Underworld was really good. and gave me, like, such high hopes for the franchise. And then they just kind of got watered down after that. It seemed like they just rehashed the same things over and over and over again. Samson versus the Vampire Women. That's got to be an older movie. American Werewolf in Paris. All right. American Werewolf in Paris wasn't bad. I remember the, the practical effects they had in that movie freaked me out when I was younger. Because I watched it. I was probably, I don't know. I was going to say like 15, but I'm going to say younger so I sound tougher. <laughs> 13? 10? I was 7 when I watched that movie. And I remember being freaked out by it. But I remember being grossed out by it. I was like, oh, this is gross. That dude's all chewed up, and he's like a ghost haunting him. No good. All right. Are you ready? I'm going to do a thing. You ready, doctor? I am ready. Okay. So I'm going to exhaust my leader. The werewolf episode of Love, Death, and Robots was amazing. Oh, we, we it was both, so good. We both wanted more of that world. We were like, that so should be like good. an actual show. Yes. All right. all right. So I'm doing this here. So... Add one from the general supply to go ahead and to a face down one that I control. So I'm going to do that one there. Then I'm going to activate this. Okay, so several things happen whenever I resolve a face down card outside of an attack. I get a prestige here. So I'm going to get one of these prestiges over here. Okay. It goes into your pool. Yeah, so I gain one when I resolve a face down card outside of an attack. So I'm resolving okay. this one right here. Okay. 
but you lose those other ones and I lose this one? Well, I believe they go back into your supply. It's a matter of holding them. Okay. But this one here, it says, if this card has four prestige on it, you may resolve it during your turn, steal two prestige from target foe who did not contribute. So I'm going to take two of your prestige. I did contribute to it because you just gave me back one. Oh, dang it. You're and right. It, didn't it have three on it also? No, wait. What was that one that... Because uh... you literally made me put it on there. You're right. Dang it. I wanted to steal your stuff. That was my bad. And did it have four on it or did it, it just did. have it three four. on it? It had four. It had four because it had one of yours and three of mine. Oh, okay. I didn't see you. I All right. That the other one. thing is, I didn't get to do that part, but anytime I resolve a conspiracy, I get a prestige here. And then I also get two agenda. What? Yeah. This is why the Malkavian is more complicated because you have several cards where you have to do like a whole huge thing in order to make something happen, you know? And if you misread it, you can just do weird And if stuff. you misread it, then you can just like really be sad about it later on. Yeah. <laughs> right. Is it my turn? No, I, that was just, that was not even an action. That was me doing my special leader, leader ability. So leader ability? My leader. Kate leader. Beckinsale walked in that opening scene. Yeah, she did really good in that movie. I was pretty excited about it and the whole werewolf add into it. Whenever vampire movies add werewolves into it, I get super excited for it. And then when I find out they're not cool, I'm disappointed. So Nosferatu, it is the one where he's in the army. Those are werewolves in the army. So it was a really good combination of werewolves in the army. It was amazing. Right. Oh, yeah, Nosferatu got it here. now. We'll yeah, the Iraq War werewolf, werewolf Hunters. That one was pretty sweet. It was very visceral, too. When they tore each other apart, they tore each other apart. Put that on there. It seemed pretty realistic. So I did that to enact that. That was the cleanest cartoon version of Iraq I've ever seen. There's always way more trash floating around in that country. All right, it is your turn, Doctor. All right, so I'm going to flip out one of these bad boys, right? An athlete. There's an athlete out there. There's just, like, so many people out there. And I've got one super buff. Did I forget to draw my cards last turn? I did. I'm going to draw them right now. Yeah, I'm don't forget so to do sorry. that. I should have, like, a million cards. Okay, so. Oh, I forgot to mend too. There's some mathletes out there, so I they're back. I gotta do some mending. So they're back then. Oops. Guess who's back? The sad people? Back again. No, your person. Aren't they? Yeah, three, but three? they won't come back until like my next turn, technically. Oh, okay. So. I'm in my haven. Don't even be looking over here right now. <laughs> did you flip out a card here? I did. This is oh, athlete what's this one? citizen. Sherman's Wharf of San Francisco. He's just running. He's just having a jaunty little run. All right, so here's the deal here. So I'm moving my clan out into the street. Okay, you're moving your clan out into the street. Got it. I am check, going check, check. to attack you. What? Your leader with this melee attack. Okay, so in order to attack me, you have to discard yeah, a card because... Hold on, I want to do this too. Sorry. I'm in my haven. Smoke them out. Use only in the streets. Move all characters from target haven to the streets. Deal one aggravated damage to each exhausted character. Move this way. So move okay, these hold two on. out into the streets. Hold on. So if you use an action, I believe you have to go ahead and use expend a person for that. Okay. Yeah, play an action card. So you have to... Yeah, move somebody so you can play it. Okay, so she would end up taking an aggravated then, is what you're saying. Because she'd be exhausted. Or, yeah, because she'd be exhausted back here and then she'd get pulled in? Or would she move out first? Okay, that's that's a weird timing thing. So, yeah. so I, you wanna, can, I need to move everybody out to do move, my attack. You can move everybody out to the street. That's fine. But that, oh, so that doesn't count as an actual then, action yet. It's when I declare the attack that it counts as the action. Right, so moving to the street is not an action. Okay, so then move to the street as a group. Then I exhaust her to do this, which yes. is my first action. And what does this one here say? It brings everybody out into the streets. And anybody that comes out to the streets is one aggravated. gets an aggravated. Okay. So then both of these are going to move out to the street here. And they'll both take an aggravated. Okay. And we're going to prevent one on this character here. Okay. I'm going to take one of those. She doesn't have guard, right? No. And he's got... Okay. But you could potentially have something in your hand. What was the other thing I was going to do? 
Vampires killing robots in order to save the humans or else they will starve out if the robot overlords kill off their cattle. There's a way to do this. <laughs> That's a complicated situation. So what was that show that we watched that had the werewolf thing in it? It was uh, Robots something and something. We already talked about it. Yeah. Love, Death, and Robots. Love, Death, and Robots. Okay, I wanted to talk a little bit more about Love, Death, and Robots. Well, can I beat you up first? I'm trying to like straight up gank one of your guys That here. show was so good. I loved all of the short stories in it. Like... It, every single story was short, but so intriguing. If you haven't seen it, you should look it up. It was on Netflix, right? Yeah. Doctor's right. really, like, trying to murderize me right, right now. All right, so Hydra... You this, trip one time coitery, in the city, and then somebody tries to murder you. This coitery is coming out into the street okay. to fight your leader. Okay. I'm playing a melee attack. Hello, Makush. How are you doing? You're doing a melee attack? Mm hmm Hmm. I'm going to pay one blood to draw a card also. Mm, I guess I can go over there. Ooh. Just looking to see what I have in my handy hand here. Okay. All right, we'll be doing this here. Okay, the resolve. What you didn't know is that I had a Saturday night special. <laughs> so what does it actually do? Okay, so this can be used as an attack or a reaction. I'm using it as a reaction. It is a melee, but it's going to add two here so to my one. Three. So he's at three. And I'm at two, three, four, five. You're at three. I'm at five. Six if I discard a card. I am at six. Well, well, I see. So, who are you attacking with? So, here, my leader is attacking. Okay, so he's got two on him. For your leader ability, do discard you have to exhaust your leader at all no, to do it? Because I'm discarding It's the just card. as an attack, mm -hmm. then you discard a card and can do that. Correct. Hmm. Yeah, I think you got me. I don't think there's anything else I can do with that. And this would be smoother if I played this game more. I wouldn't be like, ooh, I'm going to do this and do this. All right, so that's discarded. And he's he goes dead. there. Because he took aggravated damage when I pulled him out to the street. And when he dies, since he's a five, I get an extra agenda. So I'm going to get two agenda from that. One. Two, don't look at me. Stop looking at me. You wanted to play this game. Do you want to play this game or not? So they are all exhausted at this point out here. See how it is. What do you mean I you see, how, see it how it is? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Right. It's not like you could ha get all this agenda up in here. But no, you got to come over here and try to murderize me. I see how it is. But I get two for killing your guy. Whatever. That's, that's better than one. Whatever. Two is better than one. Why do you True get two? Fact. What do you put? Two, because I killed somebody from the opposite clan, like my rival. So I get one. And then my agenda says that if I defeat somebody that's got power of five or more, oh, I gain right, one. Oh, right, right, okay. So that's why. That's why. I can actually trade these in for a five. One, two, three, four, five. Back over there. So I'm at six out of the 13 I need. But it is your turn. All right, so we're going to flip out a card. Mm -hmm. mm, let's cop. We're going to move them back to my haven. This person here now comes out. Which is super nice. Let's see here. What else do I want to do? What new stuff did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did not get. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh, walking the line here with your prestige and the amount of people that you have out is. How much do you have left now? Tough. It is tough. That's all I got to say. So I did that. What is this? Is oh, and he two? heals whenever I do damage too. All of your people are exhausted, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. I actually did not actually spend it when I summoned this person. So I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 left on mine. How much do you have left? Not much. I got four. Four. So we're still close. I mean, 
But you had to summon out a whole extra person, so that makes it tough. Yeah, that, that does. That makes it tough. Vampires versus the Bronx. I wanted to watch them. I haven't seen that one yet, though. I do remember Vampire in Brooklyn, and it was pretty bad. Vampiric robots that feed on hydraulic oil. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I'm down with that. What was the one that had Ethan Hawke in it? Daybreak? Daylight? That one wasn't too bad. The one with Ethan Hawke in it? Okay, we're going to come up here. We're going to... It's not possible for you to be any smoother. Oh, thank you, Nathan. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. You know, something I learned a long time ago is if you're not sure if something should be a compliment or somebody, like, dissing you, just assume it's a compliment. If someone says, you're the smelliest person I met, you're like, oh, thank you. I do have a really good sense of smell. Boom. Compliment. All right, we're going to go ahead and use the Ooh, holdout dagger. 3D versions of the agenda tokens already, if interested. Yeah, yes, right we're here. interested. We're going to take them Daybreakers. as I remember Daybreakers not being bad, but I also have found a trend that movies that I thought were pretty good 10, 15, 20 years ago, sometimes are not as good as I remember them. Because I definitely was, when I was in the military, I pretty much would watch anything at that point. But now that there's been more stuff, I feel like my tastes have refined slightly. Mm. Not too much. All right, and then I'm going to you put... You out here fighting people out here? Yeah. What a jerk. I just Why would you put, I put one of them under there, and then I want to put... Uh, okay, so I want to put one of my prestige on here, because I did that. And then I'm going to resolve this one here. Ooh, what was that one? This one here just says that target foe who did not contribute exhausts all of their characters, which all of your characters are already oh, okay. exhausted. But I want to get all the stuff for that, because here I go ahead and get one of these here, and then for here I get one of these into Agenda. Do you just like keep refilling all that stuff? I don't even know if that's the right answer is to try to wind you out of that. But then knocking you out is going to be hard if you're able to just keep summoning vampires too. So that's tough. That's not ideal for me. Well, and that's the part that I loved was each different grouping is going to act completely different. All right. It is your turn, Doctor. Yeah. Daybreakers is the Ethan Hawke one. Yeah, I, I, I got that. I was figuring out what you were saying. I was getting it. Wandering the Bart Tunnels. Event ongoing. Ongoing. Every player may... Every character not in their haven is a separate party. Why? Why are you like this? And then I have to put one of these things on there. I forgot to get a agenda for this guy. Everybody not in their haven is a separate party. So no ganging up on people, I guess. Rude. Let's see what I want to do here. I need... Oh, I feel like this mid-game is starting to get intense, everyone. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, yeah. Lassier just died. Lassier. Elia just... Elia died just for us to have Queen of the Damned. Yeah. Queen of the Damned, I... I really, I really liked all the Anne Rice stuff. The interview with the vampire was good. Queen of the Damned was not as good. It was not as good, but like, if you read the books and stuff, I had a lot of fun reading all the books and everything. It's a long time ago. I haven't read them in forever, but it was really interesting. That's fair. I'll allow it. Mm -hmm. I wish they would have done something more with Interview with the Vampire, because it was so good. And it's... It's one of those movies you can go back and still watch today, and you're just still like, hmm, such a good movie. I love movies like Let's that. Start. <laughs> had a good cast, though. That helps. That helps. I keep, I'm trying to find something that will actually kill somebody. Are you talking about killing me? Doctor. No, I have a bunch of cards that are like, will give me like a plus one, but I need like more than that. All these people are like threes, except for that one little guy, but he doesn't give me what I want, so... He's not helpful, and I have to go separately, so that's not the best. Like, Hydra can go out and fight somebody, no problem, but him gaining a whole bunch of stuff underneath him is not, like, necessarily what I want. I want brother, brother to get something, but I need something good. And I can't do either one of those. I don't want to use either one of those cards. They're too good.
So that doesn't affect that. Man, what is going on here? It gives me one. That's this that was causing problems in the camp party up. Hmm. Can't party up. So I am going to. I don't want to recruit another vampire. Hydra can go out there and just beat somebody up, but brother can't by himself. I don't want to use that card. So I will draw a card for one action. Your characters have like really good names. Mine are just, well. Hide your brother and what you would What you would expect from the Malkavian clan, which is like inmate 745943. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I'm trying to see what's this one? Tap exhaust, vagrant. Prevent one damage to this character. Oh, that's Vagrant. I know what that one does. Attach gain one. Oh, that's one of the mental ones, yeah. Bad, but I don't want to keep pumping everything up on that one. I guess I'll fight this skateboarder. What? I'll beat him down. The skateboarder's just going to get wow. smacked. Wow, <laughs> you just go over there and knock him off their so, skateboard. So Hydra's going to go up in here. Okay. And he's going to pay one to draw a card. Oops, okay. Not there. And draw a card. And then it's going to, he's going to do two melee, and then I've got to discard a card to do one extra damage. So let me do three. I'm going to go ahead and discard. Memnock is one of the best stories from Anne Rice. It's been so long. I think I remember that one. It's been so long. I'm going to have to refresh my memory I'm going to get it. rid of that one. And then whenever... Attacker in your coterie defeats another character. Each character in your attacker. Oh, that's when I do characters, not against these people over here. Okay, I need to be careful with that. I got to beat up one of your guys. That's when I mend, not against these people. But I can beat up this skateboarder and gain one, and then I'll attach, I guess. I think that the last Anne Rice book that I had read was, it had to have been at least 15 years ago. So it's been quite a while. Right, he's out here. And I'll just gain one of these. And that'll be my turn. Didn't... Didn't Vampire the Masquerade have like a book series as well at some point, right? They have their clan books. You could read your clan book like a true Malkavian. Oh, you get to the end of the Memnock and you find you're rooting for the devil. That's right. That's right. Now I remember. <laughs> That's, it was so good. It is your go. So I'll flip out. A vagrant. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to bring everybody back. Come back to the haven. It's really nice and cozy out here until I send you back out. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What do I got here? Mm, okay, so we are going to... Probably do that. What else do we want to do, though? That's always nice. That's always nice. What do I have out here? I probably should have been, like, looking at my stuff and figuring out what I wanted to do. Yeah. Instead, I was just like, do, 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 playing around. That's your discard real quick. Not for anything fancy. I just wanted to see that one reaction card. But the 38 special? Yeah. Hmm, it just says reaction on it. Okay. So many things to Thank do. You. Who's out here? Antonio so... Banderas. Yeah, he does still look like the vampire he played back then, doesn't he? He, he never ages, Antonio Banderas. For real, right? Like, how does that happen? Jim says he met Anne Rice back in 92. She was nice, but a little email before it was a thing. <laughs> yeah, the 3D agenda tokens will message you on Facebook oh, about totally. it, Oh, totally. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, White Wolf made 13 novels. One for I each clan back in 99. Okay. I thought they did. I feel like I read some of those. I was, yeah, I was going to say, I thought I, re I remember reading... I, the, I remember reading the Malkavian yeah, one Yeah, I think for I read sure. the Brew 100%. One. Yeah. Uh, they were we, good. I know we got clan books, but did we also get those books during like I that think same we did, time? Because we were like I used to be that nerd that would get the Magic the Gathering. You want to like get into it, you and know? And read the 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 novel, the paperback novel that come back with the Tempest Cycle. Gerard aboard the Weatherlight. 
with his baseball goblin squee. Bring all that shenanigans. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Um, what do I want to say? Some of these I want to, like, hang on to. Bum, 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 bum. I know, right? Okay, so bum, 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 I think we're going to move. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 we're going to move them out here. Bum, 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 bum. No, no. And we're going to murderize somebody. Who do we want to murderize? Who do we want to eat? No, they are in a separate party, just as a reminder. Oh, yeah, that's because right. Well, then I'll stupid... keep them down here. I forgot about that. Who do we want to eat? So this gives me, like, some little brick pieces and one of those. Okay. Mm -mm. Let's see here. Oh, Jim's got the original 91 copy of Vampire the Mastery before the Werewolf were playable. We got into it, I think it was the second edition. The one that yeah, had the flower on it. Yeah, it was second edition. It, the rose yeah. on it. Before Kane got involved in all that business. Mm. Clan novel, separate from the clan books. Right, I think we had both. Because we had the clan books, which were like like RPG supplements, but I think we actually had the clan novels also. What are you going to do? I know, I'm just trying to figure no, out. I'm, I'm saying eat. that because even I'm like, at this point, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm ten, just eleven, twelve. I have twelve eat cards. Somebody. It takes a little bit to go through them. I need to find somebody to eat today. That's fair. That I'll draw a card. Okay. Boop -ba -doo. Let's draw a card here. Like you do. All right. That's nice. I like that. I like that. I'm going to need somebody. <laughs> Somebody like you. I want to get rid of a card here. All right, we're going to... Oh, kitty. Nope. Come here, you. Kitty. Come on. I will shake my tiny goblet at you. Oh, there's water in it. There's water in it. <laughs> she doesn't care. She doesn't care at all. She does not believe me that there's water in it. Get out of here. You're for the witch game. You're not for the vampire game. Vampires don't like cats. All right, we're putting another one of those suckers on there, like so. One of those suckers, I get it. Nice. Nice vampire puns. Thank you. Thank you. And what else do I want to put down? Do I want to do something else? Werewolves were always still, were always still OP. One of the, the main traits of my Bruja was that he liked to tell, tell tall tales, and one of them was that he killed a werewolf, and he had this fur right, coat that he turn. carried around. He did not kill that werewolf, but he convinced everybody that he did. It's your turn. And people believed him because they were dumb. <laughs> All right, so that's gone. We get a new person, or new thing out here. This is Street Party Ongoing. Characters in the streets have plus one secrecy. Oh, okay. So you have to discard a card to fight people you in the do. streets? You do. You have to discard a card to fight people in the street, yeah. Okay. So, oh, this guy should be back. Come back, Hydra. Come on back, buddy. Come on. Back. I always forget exactly what my secrecy thing does. Like as soon as I put it down, as soon or as my you conspiracy, put it down, yeah. Like as soon as it happens, I'm like, ooh. So then that is it. Just in the streets, it says. Okay, yeah. So yeah. in the streets and back at your haven is plus one. I want to get all up in here and like where I can give. Other people, extra secrecy and all sorts of stuff. Like, I want that in my life. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out to the streets. And this will be a party. And this will be a separate party. Okay. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is just straight up now tell me, do you want to For some reason, whenever we played Werewolf, I feel like, we never got as long of a, a group together, to like a lo as long of a story and a group to like congeal together and like to carry it out. They were always one shots and stuff like that. But Vampire the Masquerade, we were always able to find a group that had like a long story that we followed along. And I don't know if it's just the way that the werewolves operated in general where I don't know, they were. I liked the fact that it was more about like nature and stuff like that and protecting everything like that was really cool. But oh, the political intrigue of Vampire the Masquerade was so much fun. It, I think I need your help with this one. Okay. Sorry. So, oh, I don't want you to see this one. 
<laughs> so first things, Kitty. Why is Dr. Rose trying to hurt me, everyone? I have a water cup. I will use it. I'll give you a thrashing. Okay, so... So I'm trying to think of how to do this because I need to do this differently now. Okay. So I can go like so. Separate party that way, separate party that way. Okay, so I'm going to go like this, right? And I'm okay. going to go ahead and tap these two and I'm going to attack. Well, you only do technically one because one's attacking. Okay. Which one's attacking? So Hydra okay. again. So I'm attack with Hydra with a melee attack. Okay. You're going to put down a card. And I'm going to attack. So there's only one secrecy still down here, though, right? Because it's only in the streets. Yeah, in the streets, they should have multiple secrecy. It's so, one secrecy either way, yeah. So I'm going to attack uh, Velvet down here. Okay. So I have to discard a card immediately? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to discard a card immediately. And how much melee do you have? Please don't talk to me that way. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh, so he has two by himself, but I can discard a card to add one, and then brother can add another one. So I could potentially get up to four without my card. All right, so... I'm going to go ahead and put down a card here for defending. Okay. I'm going to defend Velvet. Mm-hmm. Okay, you ready to reveal? And I think I can guard if it's a That's ranged fine. attack. It is, actually. Oh, okay. So it's a Molotov cocktail. So it says aggravated. It's going to add plus one. So I'm going to do two, three, three based off of just this so far. So three and it's aggravated. And then if I discard a card... It deals one aggravated damage to each other character in the opposing party. Okay. So I have Insanity's Defense, and it's going to give me two of the shields. The shields specifically protect against aggravated damage, but that's to the other party members, so it'd be a little different. Does that make sense? So they're guarding, and then they would still take one aggravated damage because it's so to the party. Both those two would, but Lolita would, is what you're saying. Lolita... Yeah, deal one aggravated to each of the other characters in the opposing party, and everybody in my haven is technically in my party, so they would suffer one aggravated damage, but okay. then the damage here would be the same. Okay. So just normal damage. So right now you've got a total of how much shield against it? You've got three? Three. And I've got three on me, so I could add, and I can do this twice, right? If it's just discard a card. Mm -hmm. and did you discard a card for this as well? No, I gotta discard like three yeah, times. Yeah, I was gonna say, you better start discarding. <laughs> Oh, flaming shots! Oh, they're super bad. They burn on the way down if you drink them, okay? Don't do that. <laughs> we talking about Briscoe County Jr.? Oh, that's a Ooh, good one. Oh, yeah. That's, gosh, what's the guy's name in that? It's the guy who was at Ash for I know, I love it. What is his name? All of a sudden, I, I can't, can't remember. I can't think. There we go, Bruce Campbell. Freaking love Bruce Campbell. So I need to come up with a total of... Three cards of discard. His new stuff's hilarious still, too. Yeah. So if you want to, you need discard from here. So he's not discard. considered part of your party, then? No, he's in the street right now. This isn't working out the way I thought it was. Messed up. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to discard three cards. Okay. So you're doing the one aggravated damage mm -hmm. there. Then how much damage do I have incoming here? Three extra over the initial three, so six total. So six total, so mm -hmm. this does go ahead and get rid of them. All right. And then I'm going to do a separate attack. Another separate attack? Oh gosh. We'll see you later, Battle Cry. Have a good one. Mm, no, I'm not. I am not going to. Oh, maybe I'll attack some people instead up there. <laughs> I 
don't know. <laughs> Did you get your agenda for? No, I didn't actually. Sorry. Agenda. This gets where it gets a little bit crazy because there's just so much stuff going. Kitty, you're not helping the situation. <laughs> she's trying. She's trying to whisper secrets in your ear. On I know. How, she's like, how she's how like, play. you're doing it wrong. She's like, this is what you should be doing. <laughs> when I defeat somebody in this, uh, when I defeat a character too, I also heal one. Kindred the embrace more like a punch to the face. Aww. That's Sorry, what did you say? I get to heal because I defeated a character also. Okay. All right, so I want to kill one of the people out there, I guess. So I will just use, I need to have a total of three somehow. So I will use this one, I guess. I'll use this one to fight one of the bad guys up there and just gain a regular... Just a regular old agenda just point. Just the regular old agendas. When I figure out which one of these I want to kill, this should actually be gone now. On my turn. Let me just figure out between these two here. That one gives me brains. Does she have brains? She does not have brains. That's not good. All right, I'll give her brains. She's exhausted also. She gains the brains. That stays. All right, I think I did all of my things. And I draw my two cards, and it is your turn. Okay. I'm going to move this back. I'm going to move them back like so. All my people are in the streets fighting it up. Oh, the title, the prince title's out. Forever Night, the TV vampire show that ran for a few seasons. I don't remember Forever Night. I don't remember that one at all. Hmm. Yeah, I think when I watched, we watched it on VHS, Kindred the Embrace. She used to make me watch it on there. And it was definitely better when she watched it live. Watching it, like, you know, 10 years later, it wasn't as good. And now it's been, like, another probably 10, 15 years. So it's probably even worse now. And if I recall right, they made a bunch of changes to the lore for, like, no reason, too. Oh, my gosh. So... What? Ooh, I'm just reading the card. Oh, okay. Just reading a card. Prince of the City. Are all of your people out and like exhausted? you yes. exhausted? Yes. I see. I see. Yeah, I can't fight you for Prince of the City because all my people are exhausted. Is that what you're trying to figure out? I'm just seeing what you have out here. I think what I might do, actually, let my people go, is I'm going to come out here like so. Okay. And I think I'm going to attack this character right here. Sweet him. Yeah, That's so I can do, I'm already at three, and then if I get rid of a prestige, I pay one of these, I can get two more. So three, four, five. It's just like one away from not doing that. Yeah, so I'm going to attack Sweetums, I think. You're attack for five? Yeah. Are you playing any cards? No. I'll let it happen. Okay. So Topor, and then one of these blood points has to be saved. Right, and then the other ones end. go up there. And then I get an agenda for that one. We're going to do this. To put one of these on here, like so. And we're going to... Get rid of something. Mm. Oh, there's like so many good things. You're going to try to go for that Prince of the City? The whole thing well, I already did my attack I'm... thing. So you announce, but everybody gets a chance to attack you whenever you do. Oh, did you tap her? To yeah, do I'm not going to go for it. Something? Everybody gets a chance to attack you when you do. Yeah, but my guys are exhausted. I don't think they get to go for exhausted. I thought it's only if unexhausted characters can fight you for it or something. We can double check. Yeah, that's up to you. I'm, I'm not going to go for it, I think, though. So. All right, so is it my turn? It is your turn. All right, so these guys come back. 
Let's flip out another card here. I mean, I could go, ooh, good. Special Affairs Division's oh, no. out. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Okay, sorry. I was just seeing what I had here. Ah, I didn't want to put on that one. I want to put on that one. I'm going to go ahead and attack here. This person? Yes. Why do you like that? With melee. Okay. Oh, so so bad. So, so bad. I'm already at two, three, four, and it says you cannot block or ignores all shields. Oh, you don't have two of that. So if this party has right two, oh, one there and one there. So it's good two call. Plus. And he ignores all shields. That's unfortunate. So I have two, three. You have three total. Mm-hmm. And I have two, three, four total. So I need to come up with two more. There's one more, and then I could discard a card. No, you need to come up with three more. Right? I have two, three, four, five. I have three. Right, and I can come up with one more, six. Okay. So I do have to discard a card, but I'll come up with six. Six. Six, which I have two, three. Yeah, I'm hitting you for six. And you have three. Right, so it was just that. Oh, you need you need to go all the way down. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you had four left. All right. If I ever have We're a good. Kindle or something, read on PDF. So I'll probably go to the wild, uh, getting World of Darkness books just to read. Nobody to actually play with. It would be worth it. I'll discard another one to do the, the last damage, sorry. Man, look how many cards I've discarded. Yeah, the World of Darkness books are so good. Ooh. And then, and then I get to mend if I don't have anybody to mend here. I've got like one more action. Can I see your other, if the other character is going to come back at the end of your next turn or something? Yes. Mm, and I have that special affairs division to deal with also. But all my guys are tapped out. I'll just draw a card. All and right. I'll take a damage here, I guess. They're just out in the streets hanging out, and then I'll get my two cards. And then she gains one automatically from the regular blood pool? Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so that's your go. All right. So we'll flip out another one. Gallery open event. Each player may discard up to two cards. For each discard, they gain one. Uh, it's just a one-time thing. It's not an ongoing. Oh, sorry. Okay. And so if you discard two cards, you can gain one prestige back. Interesting. Okay. I think I'm actually okay. I don't think I need it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Oh, this is not super great for me. How much prestige? Five, or, I'm sorry, uh, six, agenda seven, do you eight, have? Nine. Okay. So I'm going to do one this. going to make me lose some. I'm going to do this. We're gonna enact this here. So once it gets four on it, it has four on it. Is that on one it. that I lose two if I don't, if I didn't contribute or something, and I have at least nine? Whenever I go ahead and do one of these, I get one of these. So we're gonna throw that in there. Whenever the first time I do one, I get one of these and two of these. There are fives. Five, and then six, seven, eight, nine. on here, play this card. Okay, so target who did not contribute loses one. Agenda. If they have nine plus, they lose two instead. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So at least two. Because you have lost your glory. That's fair. I mean, I've you're done no all longer the fighting. Glorious. That's yeah, cool. you're no longer glorious. That's though. cool. Okay. But you exhausted your only vampire. I did. It's not good. It's like really, really not good I here. Mean, I guess you could draw cards twice. You're not like you're gonna die. It's still really not good here. <laughs> Oh, I gotta put out. I gotta put somebody out. Like, just running low on like resources and stuff. You gonna kill that special affairs division? I don't think I can. Um. 
yeah, I don't think I can kill the Special Affairs Division at this point. Ugh, this is terrible. Hmm. Okay. Chaos Brodsky wants to boycott this all is reading. so risky. Childling, can you let the dog out? I don't know if the childling heard me. All right. It is your turn. I might get her attention. I'm going to do that. For my special affairs division. All right. Not good. He needs to go out. I know. Call him out. Did I get all my stuff? I got all my stuff, right? Oh my gosh, this is not good. No, now we all know who to let the dog. Who let the dogs out? Who? <laughs> So you're done with your turn? Did you you took a damage? I did. Okay. So you did you exhaust that character too? I did. Ongoing, ongoing. When a character attacks a mortal in the streets, the attacker loses one health. Okay. So that's ongoing. Is it on there? If he doesn't need to go now, it's fine. Just pay attention, please. Oh, I forgot to take my cards though. Okay, so guys are back. Okay. So I can like, you keep on making it so I can just barely not kill you. And it's making me so <laughs> mad. It's making me so, 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 so mad. Okay, so what can I do here? I can. This deck is like super tough to play everyone. <laughs> it's joking. super annoying. How many, do you even have any more vampires left or have you like used them all? No, I have vampires left. All right, They're but... in my hand. All right, so I'm going to go out into the street. Okay. I am going to... What you doing out in the street, oh, this, Doctor? This might work. I'm going to play Smoke Em Out. Use only in the streets. Move all characters from Target Haven to the streets. Deal one aggravated to each exhausted character moved this way. So I'm going to do one aggravated to both of them. That sucks. Oh, that's not good. And then... I'm going to just go ahead and play Coupe de Grace. Use only in the streets. Pay two blood. Uh, and it says defeat target wounded character not in their haven. I'm going to defeat your velvet. Okay, is the action... Are you expending a person for that? Yeah, sorry. Action should have been for him and then now action for him. Okay. So they're going to be dead. Dead because they took it aggravated when I moved them out into the streets. Okay. I've killed two leaders of the Valkyrians, and they just keep respawning. And you just keep getting more, like, like you should have been out of, like, prestige now to summon people, but you keep getting more. And that is a problem I do not like. <laughs> and um, <laughs> the end of my turn, this person's going to get this, and I have to take another damage. But since I attacked you, and I defeated a character, I do gain mending. I do mend. They both mend. So I'm going to leave the mend off of that one and have Hydra heal up. And it is your turn. And we have another special affairs division. Oh no. So if you don't defeat them, you're gonna take two damage at the end of your turn. Come on, special affairs. Come on, special affairs, help me win. So when did these people come back? Whenever they reach their full three, they automatically come back? No, not automatically. It's so next it's turn. not in the beginning or end phase. It's in that middle action phase. So they, I would have gotten my third blood point back this round. At the round. end, then you have to wait until... Next turn. Yeah, then the beginning okay. of your next turn in order to okay. get them back out. Play <laughs> Pay attention, please. Mommy and Daddy are playing board like, games, this right? This has worked. <laughs> the kid, like, I threw a, a lint roller at the bathroom wall, and they're like... That almost hit me in the freaking head. And I'm like, it did not. I can't actually do it. I would have had to do like in that movie Wanted, and I would have had to, to have curved the bullet and had to go around the wall, curve this way out, and then curve it back around this way. The old S-curve 
where you throw something that's not weighted perfectly and it goes like this. It's impossible. It's impossible. Unless I was in like that group perfect shot guys or whatever they're called. It's a shame because like as the Malkavian clan. Oh, I defeated somebody too. I should have gained a, a thing. As Malkavian clan, I keep killing you, you can't, and you keep coming back. You can't go ahead and like uh, outright kill a whole bunch of people though, you know? Yeah, but you've been gaining a lot of other ways. I mean, you're at nine, just gain four this turn. Yeah, totally fine. <laughs> totally fine. How do you think I feel? How many Malkavians? You like pop a weasel. I'm over here like, bam, bam, <laughs> bam, bam. And you're just like, they're back, they're back. And I was like, oh, cool, I'm going to give them down. And then you dropped that one. And I was like, no. Because I've had that Coupe de Gras. And oh, I forgot to draw my cards. I've had that Coupe de Gras and that other one in my hand like forever. And I was like, okay. And that's why I was sad when I threw that Molotov cocktail because I thought it would damage the person out here too. And I was going to Coupe de Gras him while killing that person back there, leaving you with one person. And if you only have one person on your turn, there's a good chance that if you can't summon somebody, I can just be like, Rah! And, and just them. attack the one person, yeah, and yeah. get me out. But like, right now, you're in a bad position, because, like, you have two characters that are, like... Oh, yeah, sorry. I know. I'm, the, I'm in a really bad let, position. Let me tell you what your position's like. Thanks. It's not Thanks great. for that, it's doctor. Not great. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not going to teach the child how to play lawn darts. I've thought about it. Health insurance is too much to teach children games like that nowadays. Back then, you had like five or six childlings. So, like, if you lost one to lawn darts, you were like, ah, you got a couple brothers. They'll be fine. All right, so I'm going to go for Prince of the City. Okay, did you figure out if I can fight you or not? I have no idea. <laughs> I think you can, though. <laughs> we're going to see. We're going to see really quick, everyone. Yeah, because that's kind of important. Because if I can fight you, you're probably in trouble. I know it says that... Action claim Prince of the City. So you have to exhaust the vampire. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo, in the streets, and they're now claimant to the title. So we'll do that. We'll like put them up here. Like if you're gonna try to claim it. Okay. And then it says in turn order from you one at a time. Your foes may each exhaust one ready vampire they control. Yeah, I don't have a ready vampire. No matter their location. So yeah. Okay. You're good. You can just claim it. So I'm just going to take this. All right. What are you going to do with your second action? I'm going to be like, hee, 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 and that's it. I don't know. <laughs> mm, nice. I like that. <gasps> oh, gosh. Okay. So at the start of my turn, I would gain those. This does not, like, super help. I guess I should have probably put them both out there. You get out there, too. You. So I don't have any craziness. This is just going to be bad because those... Sad people are going to, like, take me out. I don't know if I can win this, everyone. I don't think I'm going to be able to win this at all. I mean, I'm really rooting for you. No, you're not. You've made <laughs> no, it you're not. very difficult. I feel like I've gone Ooh. through most of my deck just trying to gently persuade you to die. And you're just not listening. You just keep being alive, and I don't like it. And we're going to attack this vagrant here, and... We're going to. Why don't you attack me? Put them here. Like, no, wait. If I attack with this person, I have to put them here. Yeah, this is going to be all sorts of bad business. <laughs> all right, so what you got? So they're going to protect one from there, and then they're going to take one from there. It's not going to be good. We're going to put one on this guy. He's not dead yet, but he's pretty close. And then that is my turn. Right. I think this is the final round for me, everyone. I think this is all I got. Shut citizen. So now this person comes back. Oh, I should have lost this student, I believe. Because that person actually died. You did kill one of my people. All right, we're heading to the streets. We're going to try some shenanigans. I'm going to get murdered, everyone, like, so badly. It's not going to be good at so, all. So, Hydra. So, actually, I'm going to take Brother and Sweetums is going to go ahead and attack Karma with melee. Why are you like that? And I'm going to, I'm actually going to have Sweetums is going to attack Karma. And then, you know, Brother is going to be there to hang out and help out if needed. 
Okay. And... It's going to be a melee attack? Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Ready? Yep. So I'm going to do two, three, four damage to Karma. Okay. Karma die? Absolutely. Okay. I'm like, uh... Was it aggravated? No. Okay. So they're just sleepy, sleepy. And then I'm going to have Hydra attack Lolita. Or Lo, Lo, yeah, Lolita. Yeah, Lolita. With a melee attack. I don't think there's anything I can actually literally do at this point. Yeah, this one's bad too because I can just discard cards. Yeah, yeah. So I'm that gonna was do it. another lightning strike. That was it. Like literally a fast punch, celerity style. <laughs> Would you like some sour dressing for your celerity? No, and thank just give you. Give me a nice punch. No, thank no? you. No. Yay! <laughs> I win by smacking all the vampires to death. I mean, that's a total brouhaha strategy, right? That is a total brouhaha strategy. I feel like the Malkavian clan in this does really, really well with a big group because you have a little bit more time to kind of distract people and play out that plan. But that's like so, it's like so Malkavian. I love it so much. It's much harder to play though when it's one on one with somebody right. in the and Malkavian I, clan. I, I agree to that to a certain degree. But this game is interesting because it's got like I get bonuses if I beat somebody who's five or greater. Guess what? All the Malkavians are small. Yeah, they are. All my Brujas are like <laughs> they are. All my Brujas are like six or five blood to summon, right? Which is good, but bad. I can only have like two or three of them out. Like I purposely went through every single. I I drew every single one of my vampire cards to get a three because all my other ones were fours, fives, and sixes. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to be that low in in this prestige. Otherwise, you could potentially take it with your agendas. And then, like I do better when there's a big group too because if I kill other random people that are out in the streets messing around. I gain victory you get off extra that stuff still. off of that too. Yeah. yeah, so I can just be out there smacking and then, some other people around. When you're playing in a group with this, it's not necessarily like you may win by just the amount of agenda you have. Like once the game is over, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's true. So there's lots. It's really interesting how. Why would you never attack me? I had this beautiful smack in the face, <laughs> slap in the face. That let hold me on, you got to see the slap in the face card. Go ahead and show it off. This slap in the face card was great. It was going to slap you back with my melee. And so I was like, she's going to attack me and I'm going to do like four damage back. And I was just waiting for it. This I'm reminds me it. of a very sort of Magic the Gathering-esque sort of feel to it. Like where you really have to pay attention to everything that's happening on all of your different cards. Yes. And keep track of all that because like you could lose the benefits somewhere if you're just not watching correctly. And the only thing that I can say that I'm 100% like not sure on was like once my leader went down, I moved the leader token to the person who I had the highest blood point value, but I'm not for sure you have to do you can do that or not. I'm gonna have to go back and like double check in the rules. Oh, that's true. I don't think that would be a huge thing yeah. if not. So well, we did also didn't have a situation where we had to vote. That's why that's important. Is your influence? Oh yeah, with the secrecy and stuff like that. Voting with secrecy. And we haven't even touched the surface of making our own decks. Like I'm excited to right. look through some of the cards. And, like, if I, I have one beefy Malkavian, where's he at? My inmate. My inmate's my one beefy Malkavian. <laughs> if I could slip, like, one more beefy Malkavian in there, that would be perfect. So I could at least try to, like, do some extra stuff out in the world, some extra stuff. Like, cause not oh, taking out go. those sad people was huge. So in this influence card would have been relevant. You want to hold it up. It's influence, and essentially what you do is we'd all vote. And so if I have three influence, because, say, I have the primogen title underneath one of my characters, I get to vote three times, and she'd get to vote once. Right. And I'd say, yeah, I want us all to gain three prestige. Like, that would be really big for me. That would let me summon a whole nother Bruja, which potentially is just more attacks. Oh, absolutely. This is such a freaking awesome looking card. Free money. Free money! Yeah, the voting my, is really interesting, Here's how my too. sweet throat rips. The ones that give you, like, plus one damage for every punch symbol you have showing mm -hmm. in your party. Which is always going to be like a plus two plus the card itself. It's like a plus well, three. And then the synergy off of building that character cards? deck. Well, the synergy with building the character yeah. deck because all of the little icons here, which are fun if you go back in the book and look, the icons mean certain uh, special abilities. Like right. the one without anything in it is obvious, uh, obfuscate. Obvi right. Obfuscate. Whatever it is. <laughs> RPG crazy. Ah, oh, the RPG is so good. Right? Best of Star Trek. So. 
Yeah, There's I, I so like much it. of the theme and everything built into this. And let's see here. Nosferatu says, we're going to get a revisit video in the future. If we do, it'll probably be a Patreon thing because we try not to play too many things over on the channel. But like... Turn Ellen into a vampire, vampire for this. This 100% deserves... A revisit after we master it more and build our decks and build stuff like decks, that. Right. Yeah, because like, I like the idea of including a bunch of vampires that have like, say, like that punch symbol, so that so your throat rips become like super powerful, or you go like the celerity route. And that's what they're doing. That's your potence. And then the other one was like your celerity. Yeah, and you get a bunch of them with celerity instead, and that would do the lightning strike. So you could really min max your characters out that way and say, oh, I don't want to have a bunch of seduction cards in my deck. Because I kept coming up with seduction cards, but it was like not enough to kill anybody out here. Yeah. So I would have rather have had just more melee attacks, but then you've got more ways to guard against the melee attack. So there's there's always pros and cons whenever you're deck building. I'm excited, though. I'm so stinking excited for to play more of this game and play it with more people. Like, I wanted to play with more people on Tabletopia, I think it was, where I could play it, but... Mm -hmm. There's just so something so much better about having the cards in your hand and playing it out where everybody can see things. You can talk through things. I like want it's you hard to, to teach feel somebody the throat rip. Well, it's hard to teach somebody this type of game on Tabletopia. I feel like I would. Yeah, I would say that it's not as expansive as Magic the Gathering because Magic the Gathering's been around for like twenty right, years. Right. It's got so much stuff. But it's definitely a card game that's in that realm of like Pokemon. It has or your the, it Magic intricacies the to it, yeah. You know, more than a Hearthstone because there's a, oh, there's definitely a more than a Hearthstone, yeah. Combos mm -hmm. and timing, like the whole thing about the party, like you know, if I had every you really I, have to choose who's in your party and who's yes, going along with I really you. I wanted to smoke you out and have you all come out here so I could do like one aggravated to everybody, right? But then I like would have no more turns to do any more attacks, and right? When we played this on Tabletopia, I think I ended up beating you only because you had a bunch of people at one and I mauled off cocktail twice. Yeah. And did two aggravated damage to everybody that was back in your haven. And it was yep. just like Molotov, Molotov, and that was the end of it. Absolutely. So I don't know. I really like this game. It's really interesting. I'm playing Hearthstone while watching this. <laughs> Nosferatu got called out. There you go. Hearthstone <laughs> is really good. But I mean I haven't played it for like five years or oh, something like that. I haven't that. played Hearthstone in forever either. It was a lot right? of fun, but it was a simplified version of magic because you didn't have a bunch of reactions at the time. Best of Star Trek says this looks better than Gloomhaven. Let's see your Age of Sigmar. Uh, what else? And do, do, do. yeah, no, this is Yeah. I was literally playing cards <gasps> called Smoke 'em Out, Coupe de Grace, Molotov Cocktail. I can I just have like eight of those cards? So it's just like every turn I'm like, everybody comes out. Everybody gets a Molotov. Here's the other. Everybody comes out. Everybody gets a Molotov. Here's the other thing for you too, Doctor, yes. because you play a lot of these games. I don't play oh, as many of these games. Types dare of games. you. As far as like across this genre of games, where does this rank? Like, is it in your top ones to play, or like, is it like a mid? A, like, are you enjoying the? In, basically, like, are you enjoying the intricacies like in this, or do you feel like it's super light? Like, this is probably something I wouldn't necessarily play with. The kid, maybe? No, because... it's not light. It's, yeah. Like I said, it's closer to playing like a set of Magic the Gathering. Once you dig into it more, it'll you'll be able to form a strategy faster than you oh, can yeah. like Magic the Gathering, probably. It's probably close to, like, to that Doomtown or like a Netrunner style, where they're just more of a compact world. So there's yeah. just not like a bazillion strategies. Mm -hmm. Like where if you're playing Magic Together with like Commander, you're I mean you're playing through 20 years worth of cards. So it gets just intense strategies. I cannot wait for the other decks it to seems, come out everyone. I, feel I like, cannot freaking wait. I feel like building your own deck would actually be pretty straightforward. I think it'd be pretty easy so to too. figure out what You'd you want. You'd probably be able to pick some cards you really want to center your strategy around oh, I, and just well, you build know off I of those Because really I, I min max these types of games yeah. typically where it's like Either I play like a long game where then it's like this happens, this happens, this happens, but it does all these things and there's nothing you can do about it. Or I play a game where I'm just like, everybody takes the damage, everybody takes the damage, everybody takes the damage, and then you win. We did not get the super special, super exciting edition and everything, but there's plenty of room in here oh, for yeah. all of your different decks. And I love how they ha do have these separators, which are like heavy plastic separator. Like they're so, so nice. Nice and card dividers. Here's the amount of cards that we got. And this is just in the base set here that we got as like your extras that you can start adding oh, yeah. to other things. Ooh, yeah, whole different things like drive-by, blood mm -hmm. for blood, PR firm, fame and fortune. 
So let's see here. Interesting. And they have clan symbols oh, on some okay. of these. Oh, okay. So Thin Bloods and something else is the first expansion. Oh, what was I? I was looking at that one, too. I was just It was like, not alchemy, but is it the Tremere? Tremere or Tizami or something like that, maybe? How do I get this part sure. in my deck? This drive-by deals two damage to <laughs> deals two additional damage to another member of the same party. Yay. For each for each character with lightning. So if I would have brought the two, I could have done two. So if say all three of your guys were out, I could do attack the one guy with two damage plus whatever my melee is, and then do two damage to the other guy and two damage to the Ooh. other guy. And the other thing is is that they're coming out with a they've already or have an organized playset that's come out. So I think people who got the really, really big box are getting the organized play set in with their stuff, which I'm really yeah. sad about because I thought I was going to get it too, and then I did not. <laughs> I'm so sad. Well, you thought but, you were going to get it because you were you were playing the organized play online, but you just didn't have time to do the whole tournament. But the organized play in general, like, it's cool that they're already ramping that up. and They're like, okay, so we already have this product out here. Like, we're going to start trying to get them in stores. Like, yeah. I'm excited by that portion of it. Like, they're I trying to do community that. building with mm -hmm. it. Right. So people play it, right? Mm -hmm. That's what keeps the game alive. Absolutely. Well, thank you for everybody that hung out with us today. So tomorrow we have our Kickstarter show where we're talking about four different types of Kickstarters. We have, what do we have? We the have... Witcher, Robot Quest Arena, Chai yeah. Tea for Two, yeah. and we have Paperback Adventures. If you're I couldn't think of it because it was one I talked about today earlier. If you're interested in hanging out with us some more, make sure to give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all the crazy things that you're supposed to do on the YouTubes. Because we stream quite frequently and love hanging out with all of you. And you know what? Our Discord mm. is also down in the chat. So if you want to just hang out in general and talk about random stuff. Well, not random, really. We're I mean, talking about board games movies all day today. And movies and geeky stuff. Like, it's all good stuff that you talk about in the right. Discord, okay? <laughs> video games. There's been a lot of video game yeah. bundles dropped by Fatal recently. So, oh, here's like, a hey, you get this bundle of six games for three dollars like we're having like a little chat session after this so i've been kind of toying around with the idea of possibly streaming our borderlands playthrough borderlands 3 yeah borderlands 3 just because it's something that we've been doing in kind of our spare time here and there we haven't gotten to in like the last few weeks but would you all be interested in seeing that you want to see some ridiculous like opposites play? it's gonna be really bad you but should it's... see the two of us play <laughs> As I slide in and shotgun faces and she sits back and snipes. It's yeah. very... You see two different parts of the map. She's back there like... Hey. And I'm like... <laughs> but I snipe all of the things around you. So, I didn't say I'm it was like, bad. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, he just ran into all of that. So I would say eight out of That's ten times... Dangerous. Eight out of ten times you're resing me, not me resing you. So That seems dangerous. I should, I should murderize some of those people. <laughs> I just get anxious and I want to put bullets in faces. Well, thank you for everybody hanging out with us. Hanging, who hung out with us today. We will see all of you later. Bye. Bye.